That's Superman's head inside my nose. And unbelievably, it's been stuck there for 26 whole years. And I know you're probably wondering right now, how does something so ridiculous even happen to a person? It slid in smoothly, like it belonged there, until it suddenly stopped, way deeper than I ever expected. My brain came up with a genius plan. Reconnect the pieces inside my nose and pull them both out. So I grabbed the body piece, took a deep breath, and shoved it in, hoping it would hook onto the head. But instead of dragging the head out, the body just pushed it even farther into the darkest part of my nose. At that point, my poor nose basically turned into a tiny plastic Superman trap with no escape route. My mom rushed over, grabbed some tweezers, pulled the body piece out, and thought everything was totally fine. And as I grew up, that quiet little problem grew with me. Always there, always unchanged. But the truth was, Superman's head stayed hidden deep inside my sinus, completely forgotten by everyone. Sinus infections kept coming back again and again, and I never understood why they wouldn't go away. Eventually, after years of dealing with this, I went to see an ENT specialist, just desperate for real answers. The doctor looked inside my nose and immediately said, there's something hard and unusual in there. My CT scan revealed a large calcified mass, and right in the middle of it was a very strange little shape. During surgery, the team cracked open the stone carefully, and then everyone in the room just froze because inside that hardened mass was Superman's tiny plastic head, perfectly preserved after decades. 